Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to the channel. The card that I have for you today is your job to guess what it is. And let me just give you some hints. It is a competitor of the Mercedes-Benz Maybach S580 and a competitor of the Rolls-Royce Ghost. Let me know what it is and I'm going to give you 5 seconds and I'm going to look at every single comment. So you make sure you write what this is. By not seeing the thumbnail and the title obviously. But yeah, don't cheat. Let me know what it is, and then I'm going to show you this amazing car. And yeah, if you guessed it right, yes, it is the 2023 Bentley Flying Spur, the flagship of Bentley sedans now. So let's start the full in-depth review of this car. But before that, let me thank the dealership that gave me this car. Thanks to Ignition Valley to give me this car. And thanks to my uncle, because whenever he gets anything, the first person that he gives it is to me. And today we're doing the first ever review in Bangladesh of this car and the first ever full in-depth photos of this car as well. So let's start the full in-depth review with the front fascia and a little bit of history of this vehicle. So the Bentley Flying Spur was first released at 2005 and it was one of the biggest saloons and uh, not the flagship but the second biggest sedan Bentley used to sell. And this is the four-door version of their Grand Tourer that is the Bentley Continental GT. So it's pretty similar with that car because the Grand Tour is the two-door version, this is the sedan version. But now, because the Bentley Munson is discontinued, that's why this is the flagship. Because Bentley decided they're going to make something electric instead of making the old Munson with the W12 or the V8. And in this time, for the first time, this car comes in hybrid. And I'm not going to tell you the engine yet. Wait for until I show you the engine because it is quite different from the previous generations. Now let's come to this specific car. This is a very rare car in Bangladesh and this only has three units of Bangladesh and this is officially the third unit and the best spec overall. Now let's start the full review of the car with the key because Bentley keys are supposed to be very luxury and it is. You, it is fully heavy weighted with Bentley written all around here with the B here and the side cool thing that feels expensive and you have your unlock lock and trunk opening. That is very nice. And let's start by showing you the front fascia now because Bentleys are made for luxury and speed and I definitely agree with this car. So the width of this car is 77.9 inches. It is a pretty wide car. Now I'm going to get inside and turn on these full LED matrix lights that are fully in crystal. Put on the brake, pressing the start button. The light's already on, but it does a little bit of animation. So this is the full light with the hazard. This is the high beam. This is the high beam off. Now I'm going to come outside for showing you guys the lights. So let's show you this side. So when it comes to Bentley headlights, it's just when it comes to the attention of detail and the crystals that are inside the light is phenomenal. You have this light that is your main headlight with your high beam and it has crystal all around it. And the crystal actually look like shark teeth but it's actually made out of glass. And you have these chrome surrounding on top of the headlight for making it look more premium. This is your daytime running light too but when your hazards are on this is your hazards. And you have also chrome trimmings around the headlights. And all of the Bentley cars get four headlights at the front, two on that side, two on this side, and it's an iconic design. Now let me show you the front fascia. Let's start from the top. Before, Bentley logo was just the Bentley emblem here, but now they have changed when it comes to the luxury variants. So this is the new Bentley logo. You have the thing here, with you have these crystals on both sides that actually look like shark fins when it comes to the side and this actually retracts if you unlock the car or turn the car off and when you turn it back on or unlock the car it comes up and there are lights here that you can turn off and turn on 
and you can option this in full gold and full platinum or you have the full illuminated version that is in black but it illuminates at night and behind that on the hood you have the straight line that all the way goes to the back same as the Maybach and the Rolls Royce goes this makes the car look more luxurious now let's come to the front grille and the full grille is fully chrome and it is open because it obviously needs ventilation to feed the engine when it comes to the Bentayga the front end I hated it because of the camera placement but on the flying spur it is located perfectly and it is done by an actual designer because in a luxury band it should be fully luxury when it comes to everything in the number plate slot you have ignition valleys number plate i'm going to link the facebook page in the description if you need any german cars or japanese high-end cars you know where to come and i'm recommending you something and i know what i'm doing and when it comes to the down portion this is also in full chrome until here till there fully chrome design and when it comes to these things people ask what are these this is actually there's two on either side these are actually radars when it comes to the automatic cruise control and the automatic braking assist this actually helps to drive the car more perfectly and this car also has night night vision so i'm going to show you the inside but it actually helps when it's foggy outside or if it's very dark and you have six sensors at the front with towing hook that is also in fully chrome now let's get up and one more feature that I'm going to show now is about the logo. So it's when you lock the car, it slowly goes down and gets a cover on top so no one can touch the Bentley logo and it actually says Bentley here too. But when you unlock the car again, it comes out. And you can actually do that from the inside and the from outside with the key. Now I'm going to show you what is the powertrain of this car and let's come to some safety features of this. It has lane keeping assist, automatic braking assist, and it has night vision. So it's pretty advanced when it comes to safety systems because Audi and Bentley are together and they are two good brands together when it comes to safety. Rain sensing wipers, that is obvious, but you can't see the wipers because it's hidden under the hood. Now let's see what is powering the Bentley Flying Spur. So now I'm going to open the hood that shifted to it from the driver's side on the left hand drive cars but on the right hand drive cars you actually have to do it from the passenger side and i know it because i used this car before so i have experience when it comes to opening the hood and stuff but this is not something to show off but i'm just letting you know and then if you come here there's a hook and then the hydraulic struts are gonna get the hood up first let's come to the attention to detail look at the cool thing on the insulation it is also done same as the interior this is what attention to detail tells you now let's come to the powertrain. So the biggest engine you can get on the Flying Spur is the W12. And then you have the V8 that was diesel or hybrid in the previous generation. But now you can only get the a hybrid in the V8 and just the V8 engine. And when it comes to the Bentley Flying Spur Hybrid Edition, that is people are confused, that is what comes in our country. It has a 2.9 liter twin turbocharged V6 engine that is connected to a eight speed automatic transmission. So it is buttery smooth and when you put it on sports, it's like lightning fast when it comes to shifting. And because it's hybrid, that's why it has the electric boost as well. Let me, look, let me now show you the engine because this engine is developed by Porsche and Audi and Bentley together. So that's why you have these three lines for just looks and then you have hybrid written here. These strut bars are holding the engine so it doesn't make that much shaking noise and noise because Bentley is all about luxury and speed. So now let's come to the power output that is produced by this engine. The combined power of this car with the electric motor and the engine is 536 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque. And it is all-wheel drive, so it is lightning fast when it comes to launching. Now let's close the hood because we are done. So just get it closer and just press it from both sides. There we go. We're pretty much done with the front fascia. Now let's come to the car's side profile. So the length of this car is 209.3 inches. If we consider this to a Land Cruiser, a Land Cruiser LT300 length is 196 inches. It is so much longer. Now let's come to the car's wheel. So you could spec out different wheels from this car, but this car with this wheels, with this color, with this interior is perfect. These wheels are 265 40 R21s. You have six piston Brembo uh, Bentley brakes inside that are very good at performing and you have ventilated calipers that are thickness of 16.5 inches that is pretty decent and it has double wheel foam suspension with air springs that can also increase the height and lower the height by the inside 
If we come back here, you have the side grill that all of the Bentley cars have, and it actually looks like a B if we extend it. So this is a nice feature. And you have the hybrid badge down here, so letting people know this is the hybrid variant. And you have this chrome line that all the way extends all the way to the rear doors. When it comes to the exterior mirror, if you unlock the car, it's going to automatically power on fold, but it's actually off, so I gotta do it from the inside. So, on the brake, pressing the start button, turning on the hazard, and there it turns on. And you can see Bentley hazards are quite different because it starts from here all the way goes still here, and there's a light here that also works, as you can see there, but that's actually for the blind spot monitoring. It has blind spot monitoring and it can do the lane keep assist, and it has a camera right here for the 360 degree camera. And then it has chrome trimmings all the way on the side that is mandatory when it comes to a luxury car. And overall, the side profile is very nice considering it's very aerodynamic if you look at it at a straight view. Like it's like straight up the body lines are there. The air can pass through as fast as possible. That's nice. Now let's come to the door handles. The door handles upper portion is in this chrome and the down portion is body color and it actually comes up. And there it also has softer close. It's going to close by itself. And now let's come to the wheelbase of this car. The wheelbase of this car is 125.5 inches and the ground clearance is pretty good. And when it comes to the side logos, when you open the front door, you have the Bentry, you have the Bentry logo right there. That is, looks very nice at night. And the rear doors of this car is pretty big and you also have it on the rear doors. And their soft door clothes are gonna close that. You have this massive panoramic roof at the top as well. Now let's come to the rear wheels. So, you have the purely uh, P0 tires that are performance and good for comfort, but the rear tires are more thicker. The 305-35R21s, you have 4% brakes at the back with the caliper that is ventilated and its thickness is 15 inches. Multi-link suspension with coil springs. Now, if you get up from there, the fuel tank is located here instead of here for enhancing the more aerodynamics of the car. Now, I'm going to get inside, open the fuel tank because you have to do it from the inside. It is just a Bentley thing. Press that. There, that opens. And you can fill up the car's fuel tank. And just look at the fuel tank cover. It's also made out of fully metal and very luxury. The fuel tank capacity of this car is 23.8 gallons. And you have the recommended fuel that this car is going to get right there. And then for closing, there we go. And just look at the aerodynamic body. Now I'm going to show you the car's rear. And the height of this car is 58.4 inches. Now I'm going to get inside the car and turn on these full OLED rear tail lights. So when you unlock the car, the lights automatically do turn on, but I turned it off. So let's turn it on fully now. Put on the brake, pressing the start button. The car turns on. This is with the hazard and with the rear fog. And this is with the reverse. There you go. I'm going to put her back to park and come outside. So, the rear tail lights are very nicely designed. You have the full tail light here. You have the hazards in the center, but if this car was an American or a Canadian spec, it would be the same here. This would just blink for the hazard. And it has chrome surrounding on top of the tail lights that improves the car more luxury. And then when it comes to the upper portion, the rear body extended to a spoiler. So you don't need a spoiler in this car because it's in the body. Now if we come from here and all the way go to the center, you have the Bentley logo at the center. And this is actually a button for opening the boot. And you have Bentley written right here. Now let's come on the bottom portion. You have quad tips, two on this side, two on the other side. And that's the rear fog light. And when you put the reverse, two side turns into the reverse and the center beats the fog. Good engineering. And you have the number plate slot with the reversing camera towing hook and you have parking structures at the back and you have a rear blind and the upper stop brake light is here with a heated rear window now let's see if the Bentley flying spur is practical like the S-Class and the Rolls-Royce Ghost so if you want to open the boot you can just go behind the car and get your leg there and the power tailgate is going to get up you have 540 liters of storage here that is pretty good but on the S-Class it's much more and the Rolls-Royce it's much more because those two aren't hybrid but this is, that's why it takes up a lot more storage. So let's show you some quick things that comes with the car. 
So first is this bag. It has the Bentley logo and it's written and it's, it's very premium. And this is actually, let's open it first. And you can see this is your tire repair kit. Because this car, is, nowadays cars don't get spare tires. It comes with tire repair kits. That is the first bag. Let's put this bag there. And close it so it doesn't dangle around. And real quick, there's a 12 volt socket here too. Right there. And now let's come to the one on this side. If I get this out of the same Bentley bag, but on this you have your trickle charger so the, it could charge up the car's normal battery and it doesn't die. Or you have to jump start the car, you just charge your battery with this. And let's keep this there. And now let's come here. You have your emergency, tri emergency triangle. This is the car's hybrid charger and you have a full Bentley cover. It comes with the car, optional extra. And you have some metal hooks on either side if you want to hook anything and the car's battery is under this section that's why there's nothing there scratch plate is fully in aluminum you have a light here for the here that you can see and there are two buttons one for closing the boot one for closing the boot and locking the car so if you want to close the boot just do that and the power tailgate is going to close now let's get inside this car so here we get inside. When you open the door, the opening is very wide because it's a luxury car. And just look at this beautiful interior. It's just so nice. Getting inside, it's just so soft when you sit on the seats. But I have sat in the Rolls Royce Ghost, the new one. And I did a full in-depth review of that in Bangla and, and in English. That's in America. I'm going to upload that in a few days. And Phantoms and Colonels are coming too. But I did two Maybachs that is already uploaded. One in America, one in Canada. Those are going to be in the description. Quickly turn on the light so you guys can see a little better. So first let's come to the seat. The seats are fully in this cream white with these brown stitchings on top of the stitch. The stitchings are white, but this extra stitching that is extra paid is in this brown. And it is fully heated and ventilated. And you have the Bentley logo here on both in this brown. And then you have the soft cushion that has the pipeline right here. And you have the seat belts right here for the back. And if you just look at this section that's never going to be used, but it still has quilting and the soft touch material. And then let's come to the rear entertainment because it does have it. So you can control a lot of stuff from here. Like you can control the volume of the entertainment system at the front. You have your own Wi-Fi if this car was in America. You can go to source and control different stuff. You have Netflix, HDMI, and you have cast from your phone so you can just screen play. But you have Netflix, that's nice. And then you can connect your Bluetooth or turn this off and this is for the brightness. Or you can go to settings or you can just press the Bentley because the Bentley logo is there. And for turning it off, you just press that button and it stays with that animation. Now if you come down from there, you have this nice wooden treatment with a little bit of magazine holders here. But what's cool is, if you open this, the tray table powerly unfolds. That's nice. And it has a nice light too. But it's just so... The color is just so bright and there that goes back in and then if you come on top you have a vanity mirror on this side and one on my side as well and the full headliner is also in this leather but the sunroof visor is in the sweat leather that i'm going to show now so we're opening the sunroof visor you have to just press this and then it's going to open and you have your own panoramic roof for the back and you have one for the front. There, nice. And for closing it, you can do it from there. You have two light placements here and two microphones for the noise cancellation system. You can press this. So when the doors open, the lights are not going to be on. And this is for turning on the lights or you can just use this touch sensitive button. Like that. But I'm going to just keep it like that. So when the doors open, the light automatically turn on. Now let's come to the center portion. There's actually nothing here, but you can get an optional extra fridge that is only for the American market. But if you open, open this section, you have a storage area that you have a little box. So what is in this box? Let's see, I don't even know myself. So it has this cool thing on the front with this Bentley logo, and it is fully same as the interior color. And when you open it, it is actually a pouch for the key of the car. There was two. One is in the key and one is stored here in the center. And if I get the other things out, you can see you have a little Bentley catalog here too. Where can we take you next? Putting that back in, putting this back in, and you have two charging sockets here. So one USB, two USBs, and you have a cigarette lighter that you can push to get it hotter or you could just get it out and use it. And you have a illumination here too. 
and everything is just metal on this car and you have the brown leather with the white stitching you have ambient lighting covering here if i press this you have your two cup holders one large one medium you have a leather padded here for your phone holders and these are actually for closing and opening the vent for either side and this is the ac vent that you can control from here and everything else just with this b because bentley and this is the screen that you control your climate control with so if i just press this it's going to turn on go to climate and then i can control my temperature from here and the passenger's temperature from here as well and then i can just turn on auto and where i want the air with the wind speed so i can just press i want the air here and then control the wind speed or i could just go back and just turn it off from here as well and then go to home you can control the media you can control the seat ventilation so the seats are heated ventilated and massaged so it's just fully on the top 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 i'm going to turn on my ventilation seats and go back to home then you can control the blinds as well all of the blinds so i could close my blind real quick then i'm going to close it and there it's going to close and there that's pretty good and there's the blind at the back also i could also control that from here so there that gets down or if i want privacy i can get that up and there are blinds on the doors too so there's one on my side that i can control with this window opener button and then i can open the window too that you can see right there and it just fully goes down that's going to come up and i can also control that other side just the blind there we go open the blind and it slowly opens up and then for closing the blind it slowly com comes up now let's come back to the screen so if i go back to home you can control the lighting as well so that comes with ambient lighting so if i want i can go to some different colors that are set here so i can put it to red for the top and there's different ambient lighting colors too so you can control this with these lights and this and this for the down portion lights so i can put this in blue so it's just a white and blue contrast and then you can control the different percentage and how much the ambient lighting is going to pop you can also control that from here so i'm going to leave everything on 100 percent go back to home and then you have navigation you can control the flying b from here so if you press this it's going to close and get down and then the mentally comes and then if you want it open you could just get it out you can control that from anywhere in this car it's called a flying b and then you can control some car settings like you can see how much the driver is driving on when it comes to speed how much time it has been till the car got charged how much distance the car has gone and what's the time and date and you can take this a little out so if you just press this button it comes out and then you can pull this out it's actually magnetically connected so there's a small ipad or a small phone and then i can just put that back in and it's magnetic so it's just going to get it in now let's come to my side because the seats are powerly adjustable from buttons here that you have on the door on the other side and if i want i can get my seats a little more reclined so if i press this the seat's going to go front and then i can recline my seat a little more and then i can easily relax in this car that's nice now you guys are going to come on this side and then i'm going to show you the car's door so first of all you have a hook here for putting your suit and then you have a speaker here with the ac vent that is fully in metal when it comes to the side portions now if we go down you have the contrast with the leathers and everything is leather until here then you have the hybrid badge here this actually controls with the ambient light so now it's red that's why it's red i'm just going to quickly change the ambient light color so that's going to change as well so if i change that to blue the ambient lighting color change as well that's nice now let's come to this part when you even put your hand here you have in this quilted leather so it's very comfortable and the seat belt bracket is also in metal right there and now let's come to the door see a full real leather here with the stitching and this ambient lighting bar that's in full metal and then you have this quilted leather finish here that is like very nice to you know do this 
and then you have your unlock and lock and opening the door handle this is actually the door handle of the car then you have the different colors with the stitching these are all your seat controls so you can control the different lumbar supports and you can get the seat front and back from here as well so there you can see seat come front and when you open the door it also goes back reclining so there that's the most comfortable position you can get then this is the window opener this is the grab handle you have headphones for your rear entertainment system so this is for a cover that it has so that's for opening it there you can see it says Bentley right there and it also has the wired headphones so if you don't want to use the headset you can also use the wired ones I'm going to close that later you have memory seats here and now let's come back there you have ashtray that also says Bentley and you could actually open the top portion from there and there it gets back in and you have this very expensive sound system that is name that is the most premium sound system you can get on any car now i'm going to get it on the front seat so let's exit the car and you can see the bentley logo right there and now i'm going to get inside the front the software closer is going to close the door now let's get inside the front seat So let's start from the dash. Look at the contrast, it's awesome. You have this nice brown, you have your airbag here with the white stitching and then you have the cream all the way extending up till here. And the full dash is this, this color and these, these are fully your subwoofers on the front. And the wood that's been used, that's also in this full premium. And this is the AC vent for closing and opening. And just look at the attention to detail on the AC vent. So nice. And then you have the ambient lighting bar here with the same leather contrast, lockable glove box that has a decent amount of room. And you have the owner's panel for the Bentley home charging unit and the owner's panel of the car that is right here. And you can open it and see everything. That's going to be it. You have a SIM and a SIM 2 slot there it's for the entertainment system. And now let's come to the seats. The seats are 22 way adjustable for the driver and the passenger and it's fully like the back. It's fully quilted and very comfortable. Now, let's come to the seat controls that are on the seat. That you can see, it's just fully in metal. And you can control the underside support from here as well. Now, let's come to the center portion. This doesn't open because there's nothing under that. But if you press this, you have your cup holders. So one is for a cup holder, one you have an ashtray. And this is a Bentley company ashtray, so it's just their system. Poke it in and it goes in, and this is fully in metal. It's very heavy too, it has the B written right there. Just putting that back in. Getting this closed. You have your ambient lighting all the way covering here that changes color. Now let's show you this part. So these are actually for opening the sunroof blinds for the top. This is for your different driving modes. This is for auto park. This is for E mode, so full electric. This is for the hazards, traction control, parking brake. And these are the different driving modes for the car that you can move to here. This is the on button. It is fully in crystal for the sides as well. And then you have the AC controls here. So this is for AC max and AC on, circulation on, heated and ventilated seats and massage to where you want the air. And this is for the climate control for that side. This is the gear knob. You press the B and then you put it back and this for park. It has the leather all the way surrounding here too. And then you have same on this side. And then you have some storage area here with the cigarette light here. And these are actually for closing the vents and opening the vents. Now I'm going to show you the car's infotainment system and the bottom section of it. So where's the infotainment system? So it's fully wood here, but when you turn the car on, it slowly flips open for the infotainment system that is a 12.3 inch and it's fully digital and very easy to use. So first let's go all the way down here. That has settings. So if you go on settings, you can go to different menus of the car and control and make it like yours. Then you have sound. You can go to different, uh, like you can get the base up, you can control the subwoofer, everything is controllable. And it's very easy to control everything. Then you have all your hybrid stuff. So how much range the car is going to give with the charge it has. So it's going to give you around 26 miles just with hybrid. And then you can see how much it actually has when it comes to the kilowatt. And then if we go here, you could look at the apps like your fuel information, e-charging, weather, news, and then you have your climate. So if you go on climate, you can see where you want the air, AC on, sink, or you want the ventilation off, or where you want the air straight up on your face or not. So 
so I can just control that to my settings you could go to comfort like the AC's uh, air that's coming how do you want it medium high or low like slowly coming or straight up in your face whatever happens the AC has no sound it's just the air coming in but Rolls Royce is a little better when it comes to that and now if we go that you can control the rear vents too and the rear seat ventilations from here and then if we go on car you can see the flying spur there and then this is for night vision off and on this is for your uh, heads-up display this is for if the car is cruising you don't have to brake it's going to automatically slowly stop the car and then you have the suspension high or low blind spot monitoring on and you have the rear circulation stuff so it's automatically going to brake the car and now if you go here you could actually get the logo down and up from here as well but you can see if you can see if I get the logo in it's going to slowly get down and then if I get it up it's going to slowly come up there now I'm going to exit that pressing this button and then we can go to different like you can see your temperature monitors and your vehicle settings then you can connect your phone from here for your contacts or media for your Bluetooth and you can see the navigation that's the only car I could see by position is fully bothered that's nice and yeah that's it if you go on home you can go to different widgets and it actually stays like this now let me show you one more cool feature so infotainment done this is for the volume you have some buttons screen what is that if you press this this is going to flip and it's going to if you're like in a mood like you want to drive fast and you know you want to go to the country roads you can get the screen so it has all of your different gauges that's nice if you want you're like an old guy you can use this no offense or if you want the screen you can just press this and rotate for the screen you have your shortcut buttons here of the car infotainment and then you have the AC vent that are in this B and then you have the Bentley clock that illuminates and it Bentley actually sells their clocks uh, on their uh, own brand it's called Brettling and I actually really like them so it's pretty nice this is the rear view mirror you have two lights here too and this is for turning on the lights and turning it off and this is for all of the panoramic sunroof controls you have vanity mirrors too with the light same on my side panoramic roof I mean you have a panoramic roof but you have a vanity mirror with a light and it extends here too get that back up get this here for opening the panoramic sunroof that's what I'm going to show you now so for opening the cover if you just press this it's going to open the cover and then for opening the front portion if you just press this button it's going to open up and that is the maximum it opens. For closing it, you just press another button and it powerly closes. And for closing the visor, you do the same by this. Just press it on close. But the only thing is you have to hold it and then slowly your hands hurt. There, that closes. Now, we're pretty much done with the front, but now I'm just going to show you this beautiful interior. Slowly the dash comes here all the way, it curves down and goes here and you have a little storage area here too. Now let's come to the steering wheel. So the steering is also in this brown and this cream with the brown stitching and it is very, very comfortable to hold. And it is powerly tilt and telescopic. So it's not going to be a problem when you need to configure it through the different way. You have some controls here, fully for the screen. This is for media and this is for media as well. So for the cruise controls and stuff, there's a button behind the steering wheel that's here in this full crystal. This is for your windshield wiper controls, so you could use this. And this side, you have a control for your high beam and for your hazards. And that's it. Now I'm going to show you the car's instrument cluster. Foot on the brake, pressing the start button, and then it turns on. So first of all, this is your speedo. The top speed is 220 mile per hour. This is the engine temperature this is the trip information you can also configure it to this if you press on view this actually goes and you can see the trip info here with the Bentley at the center and if you press it it comes back this is your RPM red lines in six and a half thousand and because it's hybrid you have the hybrid meter here too and the RPM and the range tells here this is for the driving modes so if I change it to sport it's gonna say sport and the car turns on 
This is Bentley mode, this is Comfort, and this is Custom. So I'm going to leave it on Sport now. Then you have your seatbelt monitor here, digital meter, the rear seatbelt monitor. Then you have some controls here that you can control from the button on the steering wheel that is here. So if I go to different ones, so you can see the date and time. This is for the E-range. This is short-term memory, long-term memory, and the driver's assistance. And this is for the traffic signs, which you can control from here. And if I go to the, another one, I can go here, and this is actually the night vision. So the night vision camera actually captures everything, and you can see here. So if a human actually stands there, you can see a human's actually standing. But I'm going to show you that a little later. Then you have your Bluetooth or your media. Then you have your phone and you have your navigation that you can see your, you can see our Bangladesh right there. I'm going to put that back to E-range so you can see how much range it has when it comes to just electric. Then how much it can go just with the fuel and how much it can go together. That's pretty much it. Now if I press this button, I can go to reduce display. So you could just go like very reduced or you could just put through your normal cluster at the center or just computer. That's it. And then the high beam and hazard controls are here, but behind that you have the control for getting the trip zero. And you have the paddle shifters that are in full aluminum. It's very clicky, that's nice. Now I'm going to show you the car's door. So first of all, from the leather, you have this AC vent with the closer and opener and it is fully premium ambient lighting with the contrast again. This is actually the full headlight controls, rear fog and the full light, and this is for the fog lights for the front and the sides. You have the death pedal, brake pedal that says B, and this is the gas pedal. And then you have the hybrid written here with all of your different seat controls, and it is fully powered, and this, everything's in chrome, and you can get this portion up and down for your under-tie supports. If you're tall, you can get this up. I mean, get it out, or if you're short, you can keep it in. But I'm gonna leave it like, how it was and how I was more comfortable with. Now let's come to this part. It says Bentley here as well with ambient lighting. Then let's come to the door. You have this vent that takes the air and then puts it inside here. And this is actually in metal too and then gets out from here for defogging the windows. Then you have your leather with stitching and a different leather. Then you have the wood with the ambient lighting and the quilted leather that's here. Then this is the grab handle. And then if you come here, these are for the child lockers. Rear windows are one touch, and these are also one touch. So if I just press it, it's gonna come down, and these are also double glazed. Putting it back in, this is for the exterior mirror. This is the grab handle. You have a small speaker here. This is for opening the fuel tank, opening the boot, and you have two memory seats, and you have the sound system here. That is also in metal. I have the Bentley logo right there. And then there, I'm done with the video. And then if I turn on the car, you can see the blind spot monitoring light also there and you have the red lights here for the blind spot monitoring lights too and there i turn it off and the screen's going to flip up and here i'm going to exit the car if you like the review make sure you hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and just look at the insulation that there is at the inside for the noise cancellation so no outside noise go gets inside the car just attention to detail and you have soft roads gets it in so if you need any german cars and you need this car too this car is sold but if you need cars like this there's only one place you can come to it's ignition valley so i'm going to leave the facebook page at the description and my facebook and instagram at the description so if you want to contact on my socials i'm going to leave those there and price this is a very expensive car so the price is very secured if you want if you're a real customer if you want to get the buy this car you can please contact ignition valley or if you just want to know the price i'm going to give you a small example price at the description until then see you next time Peace.